So when the wave comes in and it hits the thin film, some of it refracts and goes into the film. And because I've changed media, the wavelength in the film is now different. So the having some new wavelength in the film. And that's, gonna, that's the part that we're looking for when we're looking for uh, how to get out of step. So what is this wavelength in the film? Well, over here, I basically are add the wavelength that's in the vacuum. So here's uh, the N, the index of my air, and here's the index of my film. So, because air is basically a vacuum, so let's take a look at that. So when you change medium, the frequency doesn't change. So the frequency in the vacuum is equal to the frequency in the thin film. And remember from V equals F lambda, that's the uh, wave speed equation. So frequency is V over lambda. So in the vacuum, I have V in the vacuum over the lambda in the vacuum is going to equal the V in the film divided by the lambda in the film. And I'm looking for this. So let's do a little bit of algebra here. So let's uh, cross multiply the lambda in the film uh, do, 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 times V in a vacuum equals lambda in the vacuum V of the film. Divide both sides by VF because I want this, the V in the vacuum over the V in the F. What I have is light, so this is C over the velocity in the vacuum. And this is just the index of refraction of my film. So lambda F times the N um, times the N of the film is lambda V. So in order to find out what lambda F is, where's my you know, should be paper? What we get is the lambda inside the film is equal to the lambda in a vacuum, or in this side, the lambda in the vacuum, divided by the index of my film.